What is the Industrial Revolution, and why was England the first country to experience such a revolution? There was a period when fundamental changes occurred in England and the nation began to experience the effects of a rapidly changing world, effectively destroying the old way of life. The Industrial Revolution began in the late 18th century, but what were the exact factors that contributed to the change in their lives? Before the revolution began, Scientists and scholars wanted to apply new scientific thinking to mechanical and technological challenges. Since England was open to embracing reason and science into their worldview, it gave the country a strategic advantage by allowing these intellectual shifts happen in the English culture. Due to the fact that people from the countryside began to travel to the city for wages, the shift in population increased demand for many products. At the foundation of the revolution were government policies that encouraged innovation and global trade. The British Navy helped protect these advances in the revolution by granting monopolies and other financial incentives to companies so they would explore the world to find additional resources. The development of textile inventions played a huge role with the Industrial Revolution in England. Some of the inventions include the flying shuttle, which was a simple weaving machine that replaced the old hand loom. It was invented in 1733 by James Kate, who was a clockmaker. Next is a spinning jenny, which was pretty much a spinning engine. It was invented in 1764 by James Hargreaves. With eight spindles, the spinning machine immediately increased by eightfold the amount a worker could produce. The spinning jenny could be operated by unskilled workers such as children. A lot of workers were scared that the spinning jenny would take their jobs. The water frame was invented because machines needed a new way to be powered by an energy source that was more efficient and stronger than human strength. It was invented in 1769 by Richard Arkwright. Next is a spinning mule, invented in 1774 by Samuel Crompton. The spinning mule combined the spinning and weaving process into one machine. Raw cotton could be introduced in one end and produced cloth on the other. Last is the power loom, which was invented in 1785 by Edmund Cartwright. The power loom was powered by steam and replaced the flying shuttle. The flying shuttle could not compete with the new loom's weaving speed and efficiency. During the Industrial Revolution, not only did men work throughout the day, but women and children also worked. Women mostly worked in domestic services, textile factories, and peace workshops. Also, some women worked in the coal mines. There were a lot of hardships for women during the Industrial Revolution. They worked all day while also having to come home to clean up to the house and take care of their children. Education started to suffer because of the demands of work. The workforce was often unsanitary and dangerous, and they did not even receive as high of wages as men did. However, the families often became dependent on the salaries of the women and children. Throughout the Industrial Revolution, there were many changes from the domestic system into the factory system. Originally, work was done in the home by the worker using their own hand tools. Most of it was smaller levels of production and only sold to local markets. Workers could work as much as he or she could depending on the demand of the product. Now, work is done in factories made by power-driven machines with a larger level of production, sold to a worldwide market. Most of the workers worked set daily hours and relied on capitalists for his or her income. In conclusion, many factors that were not covered in this presentation also contributed to the success of the Industrial Revolution. Without the Industrial Revolution, the products we have today would have not been made or be a lot harder to access. This revolution brought a lot of changes to not only England, but the whole world. The scientific innovations and technological improvements contributed to the advancements of agriculture, industry, shipping, and tr trade, and to the expansion of the economy.